ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today we're... Stinky, do you have to eat right now? Huh? Uh, sorry, Jake. I couldn't eat this at home because my mom wouldn't let me. She says I eat like a pig. She's right. Well, uh, why don't you try eating some other way? There's another way to eat? Of course. In fact, today's guest, the pelican and the flamingo, each have their own special way of eating. Well, maybe I could learn something. Well, Stinky, learning something is what this show is all about. It is? <sighs> Never mind. Just just finish eating so, so we can get started, all right? Uh, We're supposed to learn stuff? I never knew that. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, we find out how much food a pelican can hold in its big beak. Whoa, that's quite a prodigious pouch. So I'd have to say the answer is... a lot. You're right, Armstrong. Pelicans like these can scoop up three pounds of fish in a single bite. Three pounds? Gee, I wonder how many goldfish that is. Let's see, average goldfish weighs 1.7 ounces times three. You divide that by well, six. Well, Armstrong, okay. how many goldfish can a pelican eat in one bite? A lot. The big bite of a pelican's pouch. Another animal that eats a lot and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> Say, Jake, I'm kind of still hungry. Do you mind if I eat some of this skunky chow? Well, I'd, I'd really rather you did. <sighs> and now from Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and North America... North America... Here is Paul the Pelican. Food? No, no, that can't be food. There's no water around here, and I only eat food that comes from water. Hi, fellas. Yeah, do you smell food? Uh, well, yeah. You want some skunky chow? Oh, no thanks. We pelicans only eat fish. Ah, uh, see there, Stinky? You learned something already. I did? Cool. Yeah, there's a lot to learn about pelicans. Let me show you. Oh, oh, clips. I love these. Yeah. Wow, you sure are graceful flyers. Thanks, Jake. We pelicans get a lot of practice. Can a pelican eat a big fish? Sure. Uh, we shake our heads like this to get rid of all the extra water, oh. and then we juggle the fish until it slides down our throats. Wow. Do you swallow the whole fish? Adult pelicans do, but we have a special way of feeding young pelicans. Oh. You see, younger birds need a lot of food to grow up healthy and strong, but they're not old enough to catch the fish by themselves. Well, what do you do? We bring the food back to the nest, digest it a bit, and then open our mouths and let the younger bird reach into our pouch and get their dinner. Watch, you can see this dark fledgling getting some fish from its dad. Gee, and Mom doesn't like my table manners. Believe me, Stinky, this is the best way to make sure your young pelicans get the food they need. Well, now, how much does a young pelican eat? Oh, about four pounds of fish a day. Well, by the time a young pelican is ready to fish for itself, Mom and Dad will have brought them almost 150 pounds of fish. Mm. Don't Mom and Dad pelicans get tired of being chased for food? Sure. But they know that their kids have to eat if they're going to survive. The young pelicans sure aren't shy about reaching in for food. Not at all. And as a young pelican gets older, it gets pushier. <laughs> hey, Mom, if you're watching, remember, at least I don't eat like a pelican. Well, I've got to admit that Stinky's eating style doesn't look so bad when you watch some of these young pelicans. <laughs> yeah, it may be messy, but it's one way to make sure we don't waste a bite. Whoa, doesn't it hurt to have a head down your throat like that? Well, we don't mind because young birds are helpless. There's a lot of dangers for a bird that can't fly yet. Really? What kind of dangers? Seals, sharks, and other sea mammals will attack a young pelican if there are no adult birds around. And before a pelican gets its full feathers, it can't do much to protect itself. Oh, wait a minute, full feathers? Oh, is that why the younger pelicans look so much darker than their parents? Right. Their adult plumage hasn't come in yet. Hey, fella, there's no food left in there. Maybe you should leave your mom alone. <laughs> yeah, eventually, that young pelican will learn to catch its own food. Uh, but first it has to learn to fly, right? Yes. Uh, once young pelicans get their feathers, they spend a lot of time watching adult birds fly. It's part of growing up. Pelican wings are so long. Does that make it more difficult to fly? Yes, it does. A full-grown pelican's wingspan can stretch over eight feet. It takes time for a young bird to figure out what to do with all that wing. Do they have to go to flight school? Eh, in a way, yes. 
Young birds spend a lot of time running along the ground, holding their wings out and flapping. Then one day, after a lot of practice, they catch a breeze and it's off into the wild blue yonder. Oh, it's a fantastic sensation. Oh, well, that was great, Paul. Thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Um, what, what did you say? Uh, well, he either said, uh, nice to meet you, or now we're going to see some animals that like to eat fish. How about you, Stinky? Do you like seafood? I love seafood. Whenever I see food, I eat it. Oh. It's time for <gasps> Baby Talk. Mm. Quit breathing on me. Hey, hey, no. oh, oh, your breath oh. stinks. Oh. Does not. It does too. Does not. It does too. No, it does not. It does. does not. Get the oh, hell oh, of oh, pipe oh, down. Fill <laughs> down, you two. My breath does not stink. It does too. Stinky breath, stinky breath. <gasps> Just smell your own breath, you know. No, I hate you. I hate you. I hate your breath. I never talk to you again. Pippa, Pelham, I'm very, very, very tired of listening to you two fight. I want it to stop. I want it to stop. Now! Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, Ma. Sorry, Ma. I will be good. Reporter, getting you answers to today's questions. Don't do that here, sir. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Sir, uh -huh. can you answer our question? Well, 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 what do I win? The chance to get on with your life. Good prize. Tell me, how many species of pelicans are there in the world? Well, oh, 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 oh Does that mean oh, you know oh, the answer? No, no, you're on my foot. Oh, oh I'm so oh, sorry, oh, sir. So oh, sorry. All right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, there must be, I guess, is a, a lot of species. Wrong! The correct answer is seven. There are seven species of pelicans in the world. Brown, Dalmatian, yeah. pink-backed, uh -huh. gray, Australian, uh. European white, and American white. Well, well aren't you going to show me anything? Oh, if you insist. Good. Let's look at the brown pelican. <laughs> the brown pelican lives on coasts of America. It is the state bird of Louisiana. It is also found through the West Indies to Venezuela. Along the Pacific, it ranges from central California to Chile. Brown pelicans have a wingspan of about six and a half feet. A network of air sacs runs through their bones and under their skin. This makes them very light. But if they have no helping wind, it takes them a while to get up speed. Once airborne, however, they can fly along from 80 to 100 feet up in the air. As you can see, the brown pelican fishes by diving on its prey. It always dives downwind and makes a big splash. This is Wanda Rat reporting on the brown pelican. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Wanda. You know, Jake, I don't think my mom would be too happy if I ate like a pelican. What am I going to do? Well, why don't you ask Yves St. LaRouche for advice? Hey, that's a good idea. 
The way he cooks, I might stop eating altogether. <laughs> oh, Stinky. Uh, and now here's E and Stinky. <laughs> Well, I got a problem. My mom says I eat like a pig. Oh, I hope the pigs are not offended. <laughs> to continue. Well, are there any other ways to eat? Well, of course there are, my smelly little friend. And as I always say, the way you eat says who you are. Allow me to demonstrate. When I eat like this, it says I am a bee. When I eat like this, it says I am a cow. And when I eat like this, well, what does that say? Oh, you silly little fellow, it says I am hungry. <laughs> well, that was a lot of help. Hmm, wonder if this stuff's any good. Uh. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, mm, uh, but, uh, 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 puppy, uh, Stinky, Stinky, huh? do you have any, uh, did you, do you have any luck with Eve? Oh, I got out without eating anything. That's pretty lucky. Oh, uh, well, 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 our next guest has a special way of eating. Maybe she can help you. And here she is from the world's tropics and subtropics. Subtropics. Julie the Flamingo. place you have here, especially if you go for the day glow jungle cruise look, which just happens to be my personal favorite. Oh, well, welcome, Julie. Oh, hello, Stinky and Jay. Uh, Julie, we want to know more about how you eat. Yeah, you don't eat like a pig, do you? No, flamingos eat more like pelicans. But before we talk about how we eat, let me show you where we live. Oh, footage. Oh, oh. Now, this is Lake Nakuru in Kenya. Kenya. It's a favorite spot for flamingos. We live together in large groups called colonies. Here's a flamingo chick. You can see how helpless he is. Aww. And here's a, a slightly older fledgling under its mother's wing. Now, do you live in large groups to help take care of the young birds? Right, Jake. One parent is always with the babies and the other is almost always out getting more food. Do you feed the babies food that's already swallowed? You know, like pelicans do? Yes, except when they're very young. Then we give them a bright red fluid that's just like mother's milk. Oh, now is it the red fluid that makes flamingos go pink? No, Jake, but our beautiful coloring does come from the food we eat. How does it do that? Well, you see, Stinky, flamingos eat food that contains a pigment called carotene, and that carotene is what makes us pink. Is that carotene? Looks like green spaghetti to me. That's not carotene or green spaghetti. It's algae. Green algae is a plant that grows in the water. Lesser flamingos are vegetarians and eat algae and other tiny aquatic plants. Greater flamingos, like me, eat shrimps and other crustaceans. Well, now that we know what you eat, we'd like to know more about how you eat. You eat just like pelicans, right? Well, there's more to it than that, Stinky. We eat from the water like pelicans, but we don't have big pouches on our beaks like they have. Well, what do you do? Instead of having a pouch, flamingos' beaks are filled with very tiny bristles that filter and trap our food. Well, now, what are these flamingos doing? That's called upending. Just like the pelicans do. Right. These greater flamingos swim along and dunk their heads deep into the water to sift out food. And since the food they like is at the bottom, they have to dunk very deep to get a meal. Stinky, what are you doing? I'm upending, Jake. You really ought to pay more attention to this show. You might learn something. Oh, I don't think upending is going to work for you, Stinky. Firstly, there isn't any water here. And secondly, finding food is long, hard work, even for flamingos. How come? <laughs> well, the food we eat is tiny. To get enough food for themselves and their family, flamingos have to spend a good part of their day skimming along the water looking for dinner. Is it a problem having so many flamingos in one place? Yeah, I know when my cousin Whiffy's family comes over for Sunday dinner, they eat all the good stuff before I can get in. Oh, no, it's not like that with flamingos. In fact, we actually help each other to find food, like these flamingos here are doing. Well, what if there are two different species of flamingo in one place? Is that a problem? No, Jake, it's not a problem. Greater and lesser flamingos often share the same nesting site. The lesser flamingos eat plants, and greater flamingos, such as myself, eat fish, so we don't ever compete for the same food. Oh, well, thank you, Julie, but eating like a flamingo is not for me. 
I guess I'll have to go back to eating like a pig. Mm, he's very good at it. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Oh, and I hear that you are very good at singing. Would you like to sing a song for us? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, good. And now here's Julie the Flamingo singing Beaks. We all must eat just to survive, but we don't need forks and we don't need knives. We don't need napkins, don't need spoons. Those are great for playing tunes. Look! If you please! We don't need talons, don't need paws, we don't need feet, we don't need paws. The only thing we'll ever need, we'll have ourselves a real good Yeah, while you were singing, I didn't even think about eating. But, Stinky, you were eating all during our song. Well, sure, but I didn't think about it. And now it's time for... Animal Awards! Today we find out which bird has the longest wingspan. Oh, 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 did I win? Oh, oh, sorry, Armstrong. What? You're not in this contest. Oh. Oh, well, it's for the best. You know, no one else would stand a chance. Ugh. Is the bird with the longest wingspan the flamingo? Ooh, the wandering albatross. Or the golden eagle. And the winner is... The wandering albatross with a wingspan that's up to 10 feet wide. Ooh, I gotta admit, it's almost 10 feet wider than my wingspan. The wandering albatross, today's animal award winner. Mm. Uh... Uh, you know, Stinky, maybe you should try taking your mind off eating for a while. Take my mind off eating? But what else is there? Well, how about a story? Ooh, sounds delicious. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> Once upon a time, near a hot, bubbling pool, near a soda lake, there lived a flock of flamingos. Now, while the grown-up flamingos sifted for food, the flamingo chicks practiced their strutting. They practice strutting slowly. They practice strutting fast. Frida Flamingo practiced particularly hard. Oh, but when she fell down, she just picked herself up and kept on strutting. It was the Flamingo way. Strut, strut, strut. The grown-ups were more than happy to show the young ones how to strut their stuff. And the young ones were more than happy to practice, practice, practice. And so they all strutted happily ever after the end. Oh, that was a wonderful story, Jake. Uh, it made me feel... Inspired? Excited? No, hungry. Mm. Well, now, what do we have in here? I'm strong! Oh, I told you not to touch that food. It's for our picnic. Oh. Can't we just eat it now? No! It's what? habitat time, and we're going to Mauritania in West Africa for our picnic. Oh, what I won't do for food around here. Hey, let's follow those pelicans. Maybe they know a good place to have a picnic. Yeah, we could... Nah, too wet. Whoa! Hey, what was that? It's all right, Armstrong. It's a shovel nose ray. The perfect shape for gliding through water that's only a few inches deep. Money admitted this is no place to have a picnic. It is if you're a shore crab, Armstrong. Which I'm not. I want to eat. Oh, maybe that cute little Dunley will share her worms with you. Look, don't change the subject. I guess I have to be a royal turn to get a meal around here. Yeah, too wet for me. Please, Bunny, can we go home now? But Armstrong is so beautiful here. And if 5,000 square miles of National Park, there must be some place to have a picnic. No, oh, well, not here. Help get these things off of me. Ah, it's just a swarm of locusts, silly. Ah. See? 
Around this one bush, there are over 100,000 locusts. You counted them? Yeah, they're having a picnic. Want to eat here? You have got to be kidding. Ah, uh, this is a nice spot. Uh, too bad about the gecko. But after all, the desert is his home. Uh-uh. Before you suggest it, I am not sharing my pastrami sandwich with a snake. No, that's not any old snake arms. That's a desert viper. I don't care if it's a window viper. Nah. It's not getting my sandwich. Well, Armstrong, it's too late to have a picnic now. Let's go home. All right. Well, now what? We went all that way, and we never had our picnic. Well, I guess we'll just have to have it here. Tell me she didn't just say that. For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And Armstrong the Hungry Chicken Hawk. Just back from Mauritania. Okay, where's the basket? <gasps> Oopsie, Bearski. I left it in Mauritania. Over to you, Rhonda. Once again, I'm... Ro don't do that. Uh, Once again, I'm Rhonda Rapp, road reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Sir. Oh, oh my TV? Uh, oh, hi. Uh, please, please, please. I have an important question to ask. Can you tell me Put how many... There. Put a little shadow on me there. Shh. I'm talking. Oh, sorry. Can you tell me how many flamingos there are on Lake Nakuru? Oh, yeah, well, let's see. Count them up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Sir. That'd be eight, Sir, nine. I do not have all day. Can I see uh, the perhaps, clip again? Would you perhaps like to take a guess? All right, well, okay, let me just take a wild guess. Ten. Say ten. goodbye. Ten flamingos on Lake Nakuru. Say goodbye. Why? Trap door! Oh, second trap door! But I'm ah! The correct answer is that between one and two million flamingos live at Lake Nakuru during the height of breeding season. This is Ronda Rat reporting on the flamingo. Hey, now back. Shush. Ah. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Yeah. Well, that's all we have time for today. Mm. Thanks to our special guests, Paul Pelican and Julie Flamingo. And, uh, uh, Stinky, I'm really sorry that you never found another way for you to eat. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mom. I still eat like a pig. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? You, did you just say you eat like a pig? Yeah. My mom's mad at me because I eat like you. Well, this is oh. perfect because my mom's mad at me because I eat like a skunk. Hey, I'll teach you to eat like a pig. Oh, and I'll teach you to eat like a skunk. You were right, Jake. You really can learn stuff on this show. <laughs> well, until next time, remember to keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Okay, here, let me show you what you can do. Oh, 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 oh,